Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara and I am a 39 year old mother of five, beauty and fitness lover. Today I've got a couple new things to play with. They're not super new, but they're still recent enough to matter to me, especially when I don't have a lot of time during the day. So we're gonna be doing this makeup look. For this little mini luxury beauty haul, I've got one Hourglass Blush Shade, one Rare Beauty Lip Pencil, one Gucci Beauty Velvet Rouge Lipstick here, and the new Natasha Denona Mini I Need a Rose. No, it's called the Mini Rose Palette. What am I saying? I think I called it an I Need a Rose Palette in the video somewhere, but it's just a Mini Rose Palette. So the Mini Rose Palette here is repeat shades. Some of the textures are changed from the cream to powder formula to become the creamy matte formula that she has here. There are three creamy mattes, one duochrome, and one sparkling foil eyeshadow. I think I described the psychedelic incorrectly when I was doing the eye tutorial. It's a chroma crystal baby pink, this one right here. If you were wanting something spectacular, don't go into this hoping that. I'm gonna just spoil it right now. It's really not what you think. The shadows are, despite being repeats, some of them new to me. I don't have every single one in here. So I was okay picking this up for $27. I'm also kind of a completionist for Natasha Denona. And I still was hoping for something a little more, even though cool toned, bold. This did not deliver it. From the looks that I saw from her videos on YouTube and Instagram, I thought that I would get something more impactful. I did not get that today. This palette is 0.8 grams of total product. $27, it launched in July. I didn't get a chance to play with it until now. It's been a couple weeks on my vanity, but here we are. So Golden Rose is this shade here. It's described as a duochrome with gold shift. It's not wowing me. There are multiple indie chrome, indie chrome, indie shadows that do duochrome so much better. I thought Natasha Denona would really change this a little bit more to be more impactful, and it's just not. Then we have the shade Opart Matte Dark Taupe. It's definitely a dark taupe, but it doesn't feel as new, cool toned as I thought it would be. It's a little more neutral. And then Flamingo, a matte light soft pink. The Psychedelic, which I already told you is the Chroma Crystal Baby Pink, Sparkly Topper, and Andy, which is a matte medium lilac. There are timestamps listed below, so if you're only curious for one item in here, go ahead and click there and I'll meet you over there. Otherwise, if you find today's video helpful or enjoyable in any way, because the goal is to be enjoyable, don't forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe if you are not already subscribed so you know every time that I upload. I'm gonna try this again. My neighbors are doing their lawn. They chose right now to do it, which is fine. It's whatever. This is the shade scene. The packaging, it doesn't feel cheap, but it is lightweight. It's still comfortable in the hand. It reminds me of the Danessa Myricks primer. I cannot remember. I think it's the water serum primer. It is the drop and it is oil based. I don't really know that because when I opened it to play with it a little bit, it kind of smeared oil all over my hand. I was afraid that it would tear up my foundation, but while I was filming this side, it didn't really do that. It's a rosy nude shade and I only wanted the one because I'm kind of a packaging snob and the packaging, if it's not top tier, I don't really want more than one shade. Plus there are a million liquid blushes that have launched this year and there are still a few more on the horizon that I have my eyes on. I will be comparing this to the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Liquid Blush because that is my liquid blush to beat. I apologize for my phone. I just have it on so I can hear in case my, my son calls me. So far with just the sponge, I like the right cheek better than the left cheek. So I used a Danessa Myricks My Kit Co My 8 brush on the left cheek and my sponge, this is one of the uh, textured sponges. I can't think of the name of it though. This one on my right cheek. and. I think I got better color payoff. I didn't use more product on the right cheek, but for some reason, this one just looks quite a bit more opaque. I only used two squeezes of the blush. It looks really cute. Most of my face makeup is already done. I'm using the new Dior foundation stick and the Dior contour stick. I don't wear liquid blushes without setting them, but I wanna see how it sets down it's got a little bit of tack to it. I'm gonna leave it alone for just a little bit. 
but I want to compare it to my faux filter blush. This is the creme de la creme blush for me. It's thicker in consistency. It's not oil based as far as I understand. I like it more shade wise. It's a little bit more pinky, less nudie. So this is the Hourglass Liquid Blush. It's a little more runny. They're very beautiful. I'll have to play with it a couple more times before I decide if I like it more than the Huda Beauty. Honestly, that's gonna be a tough one because this, if you watch that blush rankings video, you know it's, this one's amazing. So I'll be curious to see how this sets down, the longevity of it. Opaqueness, it's, it's nice. It's got pigment, it's got payoff. It's sheer but subtle. I, it's pretty. It's not standing out just yet. We'll have to see how the day goes. I picked up a new red lipstick from Gucci and a new red lip liner. This is the Rare Beauty Kind Words lip liner. This is the shade Devoted. I have worn this once. It is not a pencil that you sharpen. It has a twist bottom to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little swatch test here. We'll leave that on my wrist to see how how well it dries down and how long it lasts. And then at the end of the video here, I'll do a smudge test. The color is beautiful. It's just a neutral blue undertone red. I'm hoping that it is just as good as the Fenty Beauty. That one is really creamy and a little more slippery. This one, when I wore it the first time, it's not as slippery, but it's still quite creamy. I don't really like pencils like this that have a twist bottom. I prefer them to be a sharpenable pencil, but that's neither here nor there because if the formula is amazing, it's a great pencil. It's just as smooth as the Fenty Beauty. I just think it doesn't have as much slip to it, so it's probably a little bit easier to use, a little more friendly. I'm gonna try smearing it out just a touch. It's smeared out easier with my finger than the Fenty Beauty did. I, I like that, I just, I'll have to see how it lays down, how it dries and then get back with you. This is the Gucci Velvet Matte Lipstick. I picked it up in the shade 509 Rosa Ancora. It is described as a cranberry scarlet. It's currently out of stock on Sephora. I believe you can pick this up on Gucci's website and a couple other major department stores. It's $47 and there are 3.4 grams of product in here. It doesn't have the shelf life listed on the bottom of, oh, 18 months. So it has an 18 month shelf life to it. I'm not fond of the packaging. It's small, it feels nice and comfortable in my hands, but it doesn't, it doesn't scream luxury to me. It has the aesthetic of Gucci, which is fine, but it's not something that just stands out to me in my collection and screams wear me. Five Oh Nine Rosa Ancora. The lipstick has a soft scent to it. It's a floral scent. I'm not familiar with any other lipsticks from Gucci, so I couldn't speak as far as every single one. If they smell like this, it's comfortable. It feels nice on my lips. It doesn't feel like it's drying. I don't feel like my lips are tacky and sticking together. I don't feel like they're rough when I rub them together. Don't have any on my teeth yet. I'm sure I'll get some eventually. It's very smooth. I like the shade. The shade does have that berry cranberry undertone to it. Before I go off and do my eyes though, I wanna test this out. It's still quite a bit tacky. I'm gonna take my NARS Light Reflecting Powder in the shade Interstellar and what I'm gonna do is gently tap over this blush. It's a brightening powder, but I don't wanna disturb it too much. I'm not sure how well the formula plays with powder over top of it. So I'm just gonna pat gently. I'm gonna start with this shade on the end called Andy. It is a cool tone pink. It's absolutely stunning to look at in the pan. I'm hoping it translates the same on the eyes. This is a Refer Zero for One brush. I think my neighbor finally finished mowing, so hopefully it won't be so annoying and distracting in the background for you. 
because it definitely is for me. Now that I've got most of the pigment off on this outer corner here, I'm gonna start sweeping it into my crease. And I kind of keep my head tilted a little bit so that I can get into that crease because my eyes are so hooded there. I don't wanna have all of it collected onto my lid. I'm taking the shade O part and I'm building this up into the outer corner with the Danessa Merrick's My 30 brush. It's a very small pointed one. I like this one for our detailed work, especially in my crease. And I was definitely wrong about the neighbor. They pulled out the leaf blower now. I'm taking the shade Flamingo on a Sonia G Builder Pro. I'm gonna pack this all over the rest of my lid here on the two thirds inner corner area and build this up kind of in the crease front half of my eye. I'm gonna bring it around to my inner corner as well. I mostly want this to be the focal point for my inner corner. Now I'm taking Opar on a rougher three brush along my lower lash line without stabbing myself. And now I'm taking Andy on a Sonia G Soft Definer to buff out and blend out that shade Opart. I'm gonna use a little bit of my NYX glitter glue. I'm gonna pick it up on this Danessa Myricks brush and just gently tap it into place right over the mobile lid. I'm gonna take the shade Golden Rose on my finger and I'm gonna smudge that all over the entirety of the lid. I'm gonna take Psychedelic on my finger. This is a crystal shadow, I believe, and I'm just gonna pat it over that entire shade. It's not super shiny and reflective. I guess that's okay. I don't need everything to be shiny and reflective, so. I'm not super upset about it, but I was really expecting something to be described as a crystal to be more reflective. I'm gonna take it on a Sonia G S1 brush. It was a holiday brush and gently bring it over that matte shade Flamingo. Kind of want to bring that shade over my brow bone as well. Which shade was that again? The Chroma Crystal Psychedelic? Yeah. Bring it over that brow bone. This is my finished makeup look. Everything came together towards the end. I used the MAC eyeliner in the shade white. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. And the bright lashes are in the style Flutter. These are some of my favorite half lashes. This palette is okay. It's a great formula. It's similar to all the other Natasha Denona palettes that I have. However, it's not as wowing for me as the Starlet palette. This one, when it was first released, you know what, it didn't captivate me and it didn't really scream beautiful to me. But then when you saw what she could do and create with this palette and then you looked at it in person and played with it, this palette wowed me. It's a beautiful palette. I have yet to find another Natasha Denona 5 pan that's more beautiful than the Starlet palette. This one's okay. It's cool toned, it's rosy nude. It doesn't, it doesn't knock my socks off. It's not wowing me in a way that the Starlet palette did. I wish that the Chroma Crystal was more impactful. It doesn't feel impactful on my eyes. It just, it's just there. It's not leaving me with an impression like, wow, I could stare at this all day. It is what it is. This one I still am gonna reach for over the I Need a Rose palette. The Hourglass Blush is okay so far. It's finally set down. It took finishing my entire makeup for it to finally set down. That doesn't make me happy. It's not as impactful after playing with the rest of my makeup and getting my face done. It feels like it's kind of worn away just a little bit, not too much. I can still see it in my mirror. It's still really beautiful. I'm afraid it won't last throughout the day. I don't think I'm gonna get eight hours out of this. I'm dry to normal skin. However, you know what? Maybe it will and I just don't know. It's only my first time playing with it. It's a first impression. It's cute. It's just not better than the ones that I have played with on a first impressions that you'll find in my blush rankings video. The Gucci lipstick though, this one is a gorgeous shade. It's still very comfortable on my lips after wearing it for 30 minutes. I am wowed by the velvety texture of it. I don't feel like my lips are dry. The Rare Beauty lip liner, it's time for the smudge test. Let's give it a go. If you remember from my Fenty Beauty, that one, 
was not bad for the red lip liner. It's still smudged even after, I want to say 10 minutes on my hand. This has been on quite a bit longer and it is smearing, if I recall correctly, if memory serves correctly. This one is smudging and smearing quite a bit more than the Fenty Beauty. There is about a $9, nine-ish, no, seven or eight dollar price difference, doesn't even matter, between the Fenty and the Rare Beauty. Uh, this is just not gonna have that longevity you're hoping for. It's a good lip liner, it feels comfortable. For $15, I think my NYX lip liners actually last quite a bit longer. But the lipstick, it's nice. I just won't be buying more shades unless they really are unique in a way that I gravitate towards them. I just, it doesn't do it for me. It's not more unique than the Dior lip shades that I have, especially Shanghai Rouge. That's what this one reminds me of. But the Shanghai Rouge from Dior is still so much better. It's gonna be the only Gucci lipstick for me for quite some time. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys spending your day with me. Thank you so very much. All of the links down below for my face makeup are affiliated. So if you click on those links to make a purchase, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys so much more than you know, and I love your comments and feedback. So I will meet you down there. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.